In this video, we'll take a look at how to set up and configure load balancing for a SharePoint application using the built-in Edge Gateway in vCloud Hybrid Service. Let's start by reviewing the architecture diagram for a SharePoint farm that is distributed across the hybrid cloud. This is the SharePoint virtual machine we created in vCloud Hybrid Service, and it's joined to a SharePoint farm in the local vSphere environment. Now we just need to configure this virtual machine to make it internet accessible and ready to be load balanced across multiple virtual machines. We're already logged into vCloud Hybrid Service, so let's start by dropping into the vCloud Director UI. Click the Virtual Data Center, go to the Gateways tab, and then click Manage in vCloud Director. First, we need to determine what IP address to use. This virtual data center initially came with two public IP addresses. Click Administration, and then click the Edge Gateways tab. From here, click the SharePoint Gateway and select External IP Allocations. You can see that .230 is being used. To identify the IP address that is still available, click the SharePoint Gateway again and select Properties. On the Configure IP Settings tab, verify the .230 address and then move to the Sub Allocate IP Pools tab. Here you can see that .230 and .231 were the two public IP addresses provided, which means .231 is the IP address that is still available. To implement load balancing, we need to create a server pool as well as a virtual server, which acts as the actual load balancer. Back on the Edge Gateways tab, click the SharePoint Gateway, select Edge Gateway Services, and then click the Load Balancer tab. To create the pool of servers, click the Add button, name this pool, and click Next. Here, select a load balancing method. We'll use HTTP with Round Robin on port 80 for this example. Again, click Next. You can configure a health check on this screen, or click Next to move to the Manage Members screen. Now click the Add button to add the different servers to the pool. We only have one SharePoint virtual machine created right now, so let's add this to the pool. Enter the IP address, enable HTTP on port 80, and then click OK. If you had other servers, you would continue to add them here. Now, click Next to move to the Ready to Complete screen, and then click Finish. Back on the Load Balancer tab, you can see the pool of servers we just created. To create the Load Balancer, Click Virtual Servers, and then click Add. In the Add Virtual Server window, name the virtual server, apply it on the external network to load balance traffic from the internet, and use the available IP address of 69.194.137.231. Select the pool we just created. Enable HTTP on port 80, and choose the persistence method. Click OK to save, and on the Load Balancer tab, click OK to start configuration. Now let's verify that the external IP addresses have been allocated correctly. Back on the Edge Gateways tab, click the SharePoint Gateway and select External IP Allocations. You can see that .230 is still in use, and .231 is now assigned to the Load Balancer. The next step is to create firewall rules to allow traffic to flow through the load balancer to the SharePoint virtual machines. From here, let's open that port. Click the SharePoint gateway again, select Edge Gateway Services, and then click the Firewall tab. We'll create a very simple firewall rule for this example, but more stringent rules are recommended for security purposes. Click the Add button to open the Add Firewall Rule window. Name the rule and indicate the source of traffic. For this example, we'll use any so that you can ping from the inside as well as the outside. Keep any as the source port and make the destination IP address 69.194.137.231. Just like the source port, keep the destination port as any, set the protocol to any, and then click OK to exit the Add Firewall Rule window. Again, this is just a basic example. On the Firewall tab, Click OK to turn on the new rule. Finally, open a browser and try to access the external IP address at http colon slash slash 
you get the IIS page so you know that you're getting through. At this point, your SharePoint application is ready to go. You've taken that application, expanded it into vCloud Hybrid Service, and load balanced it there. This means that people who are on the internet can access the application without compromising firewalls throughout the corporate network. With that, you now know how to configure load balancing for a SharePoint virtual machine that sits in a vCloud Hybrid Service instance.